Michigan State University is making an historic investment in mathematics, forming a new department of computational mathematics, science, and engineering. Part of the new department is supposed to focus on algorithms, and part of the new department is supposed to focus on key applications where we have experimental strengths. And one of our mantras in putting this together is we're really not looking at traditional disciplinary boundaries. We're looking beyond those boundaries to try and bring together people who are focused on algorithms to solve problems. In the modern world, as we've, everything becomes increasingly data-driven, the role of computation in almost all of science is growing exponentially. And Michigan State University has really recognized that applications of data science to fields of uh, as diverse as plasma physics, informatics, and neuroscience, as well as polymer chemistry, entomology, material science, image recognition, image processing, health records, health science, and uh, the large-scale accelerator we're building on campus, which is FREB NSCL. Almost all aspects of human endeavor are going to be impacted by the, the desire to take these data sets that are beyond human comprehension and extract from them meaningful information. It's going to give us the opportunity to teach so many students about these tools and about these techniques um, because it's, it's something that my own graduate students and many people's graduate students uh, have learned, you know, sort of piecewise as they've, as they've gone along in their research, but we're going to create all sorts of courses that have never existed before and training programs that have never existed before, certainly not in this coherent way. And teach all sorts of students all over the university, not just science students, not just engineering students, um, how to use these tools to really extend their reach and make them much, much better scientists and make them be able to uh, discover things so much more efficiently. And that makes me really excited. It's going to be a great opportunity for the students like me to, to learn from different professors and understand the same problem from different perspectives. It's going to allow uh, for students in mathematics and computational science to be connected with researchers in other areas. So when you're uh, in mathematics, you get an equation to solve and you develop some method to solve it. But what equation do you solve and why is that important to the world at large? And it's in working with scientists and engineers that you discover what are the really interesting problems. and what are the important things about the physics involved that you, your mathematical model has to capture and what your numerical method to solve the, the equations has to accurately represent. Math students, after they get their PhD, will not only be able to look for their future in math departments, but also in hybrid positions I think are going to be increasingly popular in the future. The university understands the importance of scientific computing and its role in society around us and it really will make us the future. Michigan State University Department of Mathematics has traditional strengths in, in many fields, but I would emphasize uh, our pioneering work in cluster algebras, Schlamm-Launer uh, uh, evolution or SLE, uh, random walks, random media, uh, and pioneering work in, in complex materials. My collaboration with Professor Jim Miller in the entomology department is a, is a very interesting one. Jim Miller came to me with questions about random walks because he wanted to use random walks to model insect motion and in particular to understand how to interpret data from, uh, that they had collected in, in traps where they trap insects in uh, agricultural pests, codling moths, which actually are the worm and the apple. But this has led to interesting new results both for the field ecology but also for mathematics uh, because we've understood that the rate of convergence of these models to what is known as Brownian motion uh, depends upon the parameters and in fact we've understood that some of the parameters in the model need to be renormalized. This is a very recent understanding. What the computational approach does to this research is it allows you to diversify your research interests in a meaningful way. It really increases the applicability, the value of the currency of mathematical thought. Computational and data science come into astrophysics in a couple of different ways. And one of those is in on the modeling side. Everything in astronomy either happens on scales that are so much longer than 
we can observe. Or, too short, supernovae explode in milliseconds and we only see the end product of it, not what's going on while it's happening. So you have to do computational science or computational modeling to understand all these physical processes. The new department of CMSE will leverage these strengths and allow us to, to, to grow into new fields uh, in ways that we couldn't otherwise. This is really the next generation of scientists and it is a tremendous opportunity to both do fundamental science and for graduate students and undergraduate students who want to be involved in cutting edge science. And so I, I think the university is really doing some interesting things.